Hey everyone, welcome to Pro Tools Answers, where three Pro Tools experts discuss, demonstrate, and elaborate on your Pro Tools questions put to the community in Avid's official Facebook support forum. And as Andy and myself, Dave, take you deep into the workings of Pro Tools technique and ethos to help the user community understand and get the best out of their investment, uh, and we hope that our tutorials and discussions are helping you all do that. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be discussing a question from Edgar, who indignantly asks... Pro Tools, or, or claims, or exclaims rather, Pro Tools should make it where you can open multiple lanes within a track. Yep, it should. It should. It should. Is and that, it are does. Are we done now? Or, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we, we, we can close <laughs> up now. So, um, out, out of the, the three there's there's something interesting here because we were we were arguing about what type of lanes uh, Edgar wanted to see. Um, I think Andy and myself are pretty uniform in that it, he wants to see multiple automation lanes. Yeah, but I'm the odd man uh, here, and uh, I think he's talking about uh, playlist lanes. Yeah, so we can so yeah, we'll, we'll show you how you can see uh, automation lanes. We'll show you how you can see playlist lanes. We can't show you unfortunately how to see lowest lanes. I do apologize for that, but we can certainly help with playlists. Or penny uh, lanes. All, it's always in my ears and in my eyes. <laughs> we'll start off with uh, uh, with the playlist lanes, though. We'll get Anders' silly idea out of the way. <clears throat> yes. Okay, so I've got a bass guitar track here, and my th there's a, a main performance here um, on my bass comp track. This black and white session looks like it was from the 1950s. I love yep. it. I love it. And it sounds like it is as well. <laughs> it's Pro Tools Noir. <laughs> that needs to be a new version. Yeah, like a dark web version of Pro Tools. Right. Yeah, I'm down for that. Monochrome. Hashtag make it happen. Pro Tools Noir. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to click on the track view selector here where it says waveform, and that's going to reveal to me all the different types of uh, playlist lanes that I can see, uh, the sorry, track views that I can see. And I'm going to select playlists, and that's going to show me all of the alternative playlists that I've recorded onto this uh, particular track, and then I can select between them, comp together, uh, etc. So seeing playlist views is very, very simple. Um, we don't have this. This is on audio tracks, though. It's probably worth mentioning that we mm -hmm. we don't have a playlist view on MIDI tracks. Don't we? No, I don't think we do. We have playlists available, but not a playlist view. Yep, we, unfortunately. That's where I was going. So we don't have playlist views on on either of the two MIDI track types, but we do we do have the ability to create multiple playlists, just not to to view them yep. all together. That's right. Maybe that'll change in the future. Who knows? Uh, let's switch back back to play uh, waveform view, um, and can, then can I can I clarify just one thing real quick? So one of the things that. Um, we, we commonly throw around when you're taking a look at playlist views there, what we're talking about are edit playlists, right? More specifically edit playlists, which is simply the sequence of clips on a track, right? So, so what Dave just showed you are the different edit playlist lanes. Now, what he's going to show you now, I think, are the automation playlist lanes, mm -hmm. but they're all playlists. Okay. So, okay, shall I, can I continue? Shall I continue? Yes, you can. Yep, okay, cool. Okay, so to be able to see some of the alternative playlists, uh, the automation lanes uh, on a standard audio track without any any other plugins with automations enabled um, or any sends on there, um, all we get to see is volume, uh, uh, the volume trim, the mute, and the pan automation controls and when you select them they overlay on top of the uh, the waveform if I was to create a send that would uh, give me the option the opportunity to then show the automation levels for those uh, the all the the automation controls for those as well and then if we just put one control here in uh, on f6 into automation enable mode that then shows up that specific control in there as well. So we can overlay one automation lane on top of our waveforms. And this is where I think uh, Edgar's question comes from, uh, because it may be useful for you to be able to see multiple automation lanes all at once. But if you look down here on the bottom left-hand side of the track, we've got this show hide automation button. And if we click that, we can drop down 
another automation lane. How cool is that? So we can see the master bypass automation for my uh, EQ, and we can see the volume automation for my track. But that might not be enough. We've got a little plus icon here. Click that and it opens up another automation lane. So let's say we want to, to view the mute automation for my send. So there we go. So we've got mute automation viewable alongside my F6 master bypass and the volume automation for my track. And we can just keep going. Yeah, in fact, I love to keep the, when I do this, I like to keep my, my main playlist up at the top. I like to keep that on waveform so that you can edit clips there and mm -hmm. then just have stacked automation playlists. Yeah, it's, it, it's great. And that folds down if you don't want to see it anymore to save your screen real estate. And when you open it back up, it, it saves that state. So if you have a, a favorite uh, bunches of automations that you'd like to see all the time, you can just fold those up. In, similar to how we do with folder tracks, keeps it nice and, uh, uh, nice and uniform. And we have the same thing available. I was looking on audio tracks then, wasn't I? Yep. Yes. We have the same thing on MIDI tracks as well, MIDI tracks and instrument tracks. And then we, with the uh, the instrument tracks, obviously we can have the the vo the audio based uh, automation lanes shown, and we can also have uh, the the continuous controller data and the MIDI data stuff. Um, available as well which is very cool so we can Absolutely. see the audio and uh let's see automation data side by side on the timeline <clears throat> yeah that that's great i mean uh, automation lane showing and hiding that's really really good uh, a little uh, trick here is of course these automation lanes can be resized so if you grab any between any of these lanes mm -hmm. uh, you can resize them as you see here as dave is changing one all of them change at the same time but from time to time it's useful to know a great shortcut here and that's holding the control key on your mac or that would be the start key on your PC, you can resize them individually so mm -hmm. they can have different heights. Very cool. And that state state gets saved when you show hide. Perfect. Very, very cool. Uh, great question, Edgar. You can also, by the way, just just for um, on, on this track, if you wanted to have, for example, you wanted to have velocity above, um, you can also drag these just like tracks. Um, so if you took velocity, you could drag this up. Wait, where do I drag that? At this, at the side. Yep, there you go. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and there, and so you can reorder them just, just as if you were reordering tracks. Um, obviously, that it's within the track there. Very, very cool. Okay, well, I think that that certainly covers both. Um, unfortunately, we can't show anything to do with Lois Lanes. I do apologize, or Penny Lanes. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll look into it for you and try our best. Um, if you've liked what we're doing in the video today uh, and, and it's helped you, uh, hit like on the video. Um, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel as well and hit the bell icon so you get notified when we release our videos weekly. Uh, if you head over to ProToolsAnswers.com, we've got a website over there with, uh, with a collection of our stuff. Um, and you can also subscribe to Pro Tools Answers um, over there and Andy will write to you every week and let you know what we're doing. And if you fancy taking that next step to support Pro Tools Answers, because obviously we do this um, completely for you guys, uh, completely for free, um, free of the corporate overlords. <laughs> um, so if you can drop us a few bucks every month, uh, we'd be greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, you can sign up to our inner circle over there. You can go and read about what that gives you um, over at ProToolsAnswers.com. And all that needs to say is thank you very much to Anders. Thank you. And thank you to Andy. You bet. My name's Dave. This is Pro Tools Answers. This is Pro Tools Answers. We'll see you next time. And we're out.